Shabbat Shalom, everybody. I remember really well as a little kid when I would go to the homes of other people, be they family members or be they friends or friends of the family, and feeling how different their homes were than the home that I came from. I think all little kids experience that on some level. It could be sensual, sensory. It could have to do with the smell of a place. It could have to do with the food that people eat. It could have to do with the way people talk to each other or even what they do with their time. You know, the truth is we all create our own realities by virtue of those things. The type of homes that we have, the way we treat each other in our homes and what we do with our time. I think Judaism is about creating a particular reality for an entire people. That reality is based on community. It's based on a community that comes together for prayer, a community that comes together for learning, a community that comes together both for and to give communal support to each other and to people outside of the community. It is a beautiful aspect of our Jewish life. Last Sunday, we observed Tisha B'Av. It's the day that recounts our destruction um, and exile from the Holy Land. It was a very mournful day, and it continues to be remembered as such. Before Tisha B'Av, we are warned about the impending disaster, which we take responsibility for. But after Tisha B'Av, we begin seven weeks of comfort and hope. And they begin with Haftorah that's recited tomorrow, Nachamu, Nachamu, Ami. It means, be comforted, be comforted, my people. These are the words of the prophet who says that God will be with you, knowing that there's a force with you, knowing that there's another person with you, or there are people with you, does give you a great sense of comfort in this world. And it is so, so very important not to be alone. You know, I've spent many years at the Hartman Institute in Jerusalem, and the founder of the Institute, Rabbi David Hartman, Zichron Racha, once said to the group of rabbis as they were leaving, know that this is a comfortable and a safe place for you, and know that we will always be here for you. What a wonderful thing that was to hear, and something that I never forgot have forgotten, that they will be there for us, for the rabbis. But it's not just for rabbis. That's the truth about the synagogue, that we're here for you, and we have to be here for each other. I want to wish you all Shabbat Shalom, and I wish you Shabbat of comfort, and I wish you comfort and hope in the days that lie ahead.